Hey Norfolk, greetings from the sail training ship and the bark picking castle. The last time we visited the Norfolk Harbor Fest was in 2012. We had a fantastic time. Our crew had a blast, it was a great operation. Visitors and volunteers were friendly and the event organizers did an outstanding world-class job. Although we can't get together with you in person this year, we're going to do this video and have you check it out and I hope you enjoy it. The Picken Castle, she's three-masted, built of steel, and a magnificent example of the Great Age of Sail. We're extremely proud of her ship. She's sailed us 300,000 miles so far, and we're looking for a few hundred thousand more. She didn't actually start out as a sailing ship, although she could have. She was built as a fishing trawler with sailing ship lines in 1928. For years, she fished in the vicious North Atlantic with a big steam engine. And then she was pressed into World War II as a minesweeper and convoy escort in the Royal Navy. In the 1990s, we brought her to Lunenburg, Nova Scotia to be refit into the sailing ship we know today. She's very decidedly not a passenger ship. She's pretty and comfortable, naturally ventilated and comfortable in the tropics, but when it's hot outside, we're hot. When it's cold outside, we're cold, and that's part of what it is. It's a real sail Chinese ship. It's not a holiday although it is the voyage of a lifetime. The Picken Castle was refitted and outfitted and designed for blue water sail training. Since 1997, we've sailed around the world seven times. The ship is crewed by up to 52 people, including a mix of professional mariners and trainee crew members. She is purposely set up to be a classic age of sail type sailing ship with that aesthetic, however, of course, with proper modern communications and safety gear. She's got masts and yards of both wood and steel. Running rigging and sails are all natural fibers. We make the sails on board ourselves, and the running rigging is all manila. She's got a galley deck house on deck where the cook makes satisfying hearty meals. Below decks, the crew sleep in large pilot berths, upper and lowers, and in large compartments. The main salon serves as bedroom, dining room, living room, workshop, and classroom. Trainees range in age from 18 to 60, and we've had trainees from 20 some odd different countries so far. Through sailing the ship, you're going to build up resilience and learn life skills that are readily transferable. No sailing experience is necessary to sign aboard, but you do have to be a very willing soul to be part of the working crew. All right, when trainees first sign aboard, they go through an um, initial safety orientation to just get them a start, and then we drill together. I don't really expect this to sink in right away. Then it's followed up by getting to know the ship. Of course, there's 205 lines. They've got to learn those. The fore brace, which is the forwardmost one. Names of the sails, names of the yards. And from there, it only goes upward. Trainee crew, of course, learn seamanship skills, steering hands-on by standing watches, steering the ship, handling sails. There's lots of sails, but they're none of them too big. So she's quite accommodating to a crew that's learning how to do this. They do everything that gets done on board, helping maintain the ship, whether it's caulking or painting, or making the sails, or making a spar. Let fall! There's a lot to learn, but it's straightforward to learn. <laughs> we have a lot of fun, too, living and working together at sea. We sail to some pretty amazing islands and ports. It is an amazing voyage of travel. There's no substitute for a deep water passage in the trade winds in a square rigger. Her stability makes her very comfortable. You get into the swing rhythm of the ocean. It opens your mind and soul to other ways of life. It's much different than flying in or coming in even on a yacht. People in the islands we visit realize that we earned our way there. That's right, five years. Good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. It's very much a plus for us on board. What's next? Well. We've got a voyage planned to the South Pacific. We can't wait to return there. The Pacific trade winds are calling, as are the palm trees, blue lagoons, low-lying atolls, and tall volcanic islands. The long extended passages at sea in the vast Pacific are just awesome. You get into the routine of a ship, the way of a ship, and the gentle rolling swell in the warm trade winds. And the warmth with which we're greeted as we sail into familiar bays and drop anchor. Why would anyone want to sail in Picken Castle? Well, she is one of the very few publicly accessible deep water sail training ships. But the real reason to sail Picken Castle is you 
have read or heard about or thought of deep sea voyaging, tropical islands, and really making something with your time on Earth to become an explorer and a mariner. So it's tuning into a, an amazing experience that's pretty much not otherwise accessible. It's beautiful, it's cool, it's challenging. It's sort of a band of brothers type experience in a sense. You make shipmates, you make friends. The reason we're sailing the South Pacific is because we can. A lot of people dream of it and we get to do it.